Before this moment, you've been many things to one another, an acquaintance, a friend, a companion, lover, and even a teacher. You've learned much from one another in these past few years. Now you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold and the thing and things will never be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to this world, this is my husband and this is my wife. Try not to choke up here. <laughs> Father God, we praise you and we thank you for this day and this gift of life and this beautiful day of joining Brianna and Perry together. And we ask that each of you just come with the intention of witnessing this union and holding them in this place of love. And we ask that this would be a blessed occasion and that we could lay anything that is not of your peace at the door before we entered. They say it takes a village to raise children, and even a bigger village, more like an army, when it's a blended family. Personally, and I can vote. What I cherish and love about blended families, and it's supported here today, is that the members of your army and your family are here with us today, and they've all chosen to be here. To love and support you both unconditionally, which is a very special thing. In all seriousness, I have never seen two people complement each other more perfectly than you two. I have so much love for the both of you, and I'm so grateful to be a part of this incredible journey you two are on. So with that being said, always remember, if you must lie, lie with each other. If you must cheat, cheat death. And if you must drink, drink with us. Cheers to Brianna and Turbo. I never thought Turbo could talk you be into going hunting and on crazy adventures with us, but I guess he's got some magical words and made it happen. Um, and since he did that, some of my best memories with my brother and with B are on those adventures. I pray over this wedding and this marriage that as these two become one, that you would cover over the inevitable. Troubles will come, and I pray that you give them supernatural strength to put on the garment of love. I pray that they would lay down their desires to be right or better or even more comfortable, always putting one another before themselves. I pray that you bless their marriage with your grace and truth, the truth that nothing can separate us from your love, not death nor life, not angels nor demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell, nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from your love that is revealed to us in Jesus. I pray this over you too, that as you become one, that what God has joined together, no one can separate. 